just heading into Lumbee. It's supposed to be uh, Lumbee days for the past three days. 150th anniversary or something. So I'll go check that out. See if I can get myself a pancake breakfast or something. Old stomping grounds. Is that the uh, community center area? Seems to be uh, fair in town. For the Lumbee days, last day. I think I might uh, camp here for a couple nights. It's got some memories. It's, uh, I lived close by when I was a youngster, Cherryville. Oval Park. And I remember, sometimes a person remembers and they're not sure if it's their memories of a certain place or a different place, but I remember this pool. I'm pretty sure we went swimming here several times. Looks familiar. I just want to get a shot of the front here for my bros. They might remember better than I do. That looks quite familiar. Welcome to the Lumbee Pool. Sounds like it's uh, too lively yet, maybe too early. It's only about uh, 10 to 9. Things are setting up. I think it goes to like 7 p.m. tonight, so probably doesn't get rock and roll until noon or something. All the vendors. They got every kind of food you can want. They come check it out a little bit later when it's all open. And have a band's playing. Nice. I see coffee. Didn't have my morning coffee yet. Bit of a car show over here. Morning. Morning. So we'll walk along these cars. station wagon very nice it's like we used to ride in a station wagon all the kids Chevy, 55 Chevy.
there's an old one. Looks like an old army vehicle. Maybe. Steering on it, so good. <laughs> and don't tick. 74 Toyota. Toyota Celica. Well, the Kurt used to have a Celica until he rolled it. Awesome. Nice. For sale, if you want it. Oh, it's for sale. <laughs> That's what I need. Yeah. <laughs> Take stuff to the dump. Yeah, <laughs> probably real gas guzzler. Oh, look, oh, yeah. look sharp though. Oh, but it's all nicely finished. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's got a. You're right. Oh, I don't know. I just sold my 1987 <laughs> Nissan pickup for two hundred. $25 because I blew up the motor. Oh, yeah. So I need a pickup. <laughs> Just not like this. Just no, that one uh, two over, that white one. The, the white one there, yeah. yeah. yeah that's more my style. <laughs> when does things kick off here? When do the fair or whatever start up? Well, yeah. it's been losing yeah. the church service was at nine. Yeah. Oh. So, is there a pancake breakfast somewhere or something? Yeah, over OEP yeah. Hall. Of the, on the intersect, if you go to the street and yeah, up, turn right, or oh, okay. turn left, I mean, on, it's on the corner there, white building, called okay. the OEP. Maybe I'll yeah. check that out. Yeah. By yeah. donation, so. Right yeah, on. Bring your wallet. Yeah, I got her. Yeah, Thanks. The first year they, they see, we're a little bit later. So that means you're, you're Yeah, and that, yeah. So that I don't know. Yeah, carry on. Uh, the pollination. Shelby GT. There's a big engine too, eh? Maybe one or two awards. Oh, what are the price of this sucker was? Is that right? Listen, so what's your name? Brian, I'm shocked. 47,500. Maybe that's when it was bought. This looks like a Brent Tichkowski vehicle. Oops. Not your normal collector car. No, a 1984. Pretty. Nice though, nice paint job. Yeah, beautiful paint job. Yeah. Awesome. What is this? Ethan's imports. 
<laughs> That's what I need to zip around Christina Lake on. Morning. Morning. How are you? <laughs> Classic. Oh, yeah, you guys are so spread out. Pontiac, 1957 Pontiac. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, get your seat belts on. Probably no seat belts in this one when it came out. Well, there's some in the front, but I don't see any in the back. I kind of thought of it. I'd have to be like you by the time you set up for uh, eight o'clock in the morning. Well, one more over here, like this car. And then we'll try and find that uh, breakfast. Sweet. Corvette. Nice. Dream car. Hard to camp in that one though. Viper RT10. Throw it in a high gear and RPMs are so low that it's not. Yeah. Beautiful. feeling nostalgia you know when you come to a hometown you get that feeling that uh, I don't know it just feels welcoming good memories here but I'm gonna head over and see if I can find me that pancake breakfast get a couple coffees downrange and locate a site I can camp at then uh, Walk back here. Have a few brew. Look at that. They got the Lumbee Lions Beer Gardens. Got to have a couple in Lumbee, right? On the way to the pancake breakfast, but I came across old school, junior high. Charles Bloom Secondary School. <laughs> Funny, everything looks smaller when you're all grown up. Yep. There she is. That's where Steve got all of his knowledge. Or some of it, anyway. Okay, I secured a campsite. A little creek running by it there. So it would be very nice. But they don't have a spot quite yet. They're allowing me to park on the grass here by the office. They anticipate a, several people leaving because it's the last day of Lumby Days. So they'll probably be leaving by 11's checkout. They'll be leaving shortly, probably. Then they'll call me and then I'll get a spot. That way, if I'm having a few beers at their beer gardens and at the fair here, enjoying myself, I won't have to move the van and I won't have very far to walk and the weather is beautiful it's going to be a great day going by in the car show it looks like nice nice well, I don't 
don't think this uh, Kia is in the car still. That's still nice. A little different foliage along the creek in Lumbee, BC. Just at their fair. Very good. Very good music. Very good event. Uh, it's relaxing in the Lions Club's campsite. You may hear the helicopter taking off in the background. They've been given flights about every 15 minutes. I wonder what they charge for something like that. <laughs> 